All right, forget about alien invasions or giant meteors hurtling toward Earth. There's something far more dangerous lurking in the cosmos, and it's called strange matter. While the general public doesn't know much about it, experts are convinced that under certain conditions, this stuff could devour our planet whole. But to truly grasp the concept of strange matter, we first need to understand protons, neutrons, and neutron stars. Take a look at your hand. It's composed of tiny cells. If you zoom in on these cells, you'll see a bunch of molecules. Keep going, and you'll find that molecules consist of atoms, which have protons and neutrons in their nucleus. Surrounding all that, you have electrons zipping around in small clouds. If you could see this up close, you'd notice that these particles aren't packed tightly together. In fact, there's enough space between them to make you wonder why your hand feels solid at all. But when you touch or press your hand, all those atoms resist the force. The harder you press, the more atoms push back. But what if you pushed really, really hard? Eventually, you'd force the nuclei together and fuse new elements. Not that this is possible with just your hand, but it can happen with a neutron star. Imagine this, a super powerful and massive star is reaching the end of its life. One possible scenario is that it runs out of nuclear fuel and in a blinding burst collapses under its own gravity. If the star is massive enough, it becomes a black hole. But if it isn't that big, a neutron star forms instead. At about 10 miles across, a neutron star is tiny compared to other stars, yet incredibly dense, about 1.4 times the mass of the Sun. This means that just one teaspoon of neutron star material would weigh a staggering 10 million tons. Scientists speculate that one day these neutrons might tire of holding all that weight, and the structure keeping the entire star together could collapse. This could lead to the formation of a quark star, even smaller and denser than a neutron star. As pressure builds inside a quark star, strange quarks might appear in its core. They've been called strange because they don't behave like normal quarks. I might have gone with quirky quarks, but that's just me. Simply put, if these strange quarks become numerous enough, they create strange matter, which is unique and unlike any matter found on Earth. Oh yeah, and it could be the most dangerous substance in our universe. Hold on, I'm getting there. But first, let's conduct a virtual experiment with something more familiar than a neutron star. We'll take an iron atom and start to squeeze it with tremendous force. Sooner or later, the atoms, neutrons, and protons will disintegrate into quarks. Add more pressure and some of these quarks will become heavier and turn into strange quarks. What we have now isn't an iron atom, but a strangelet, a tiny piece of strange matter. Oh, don't you just love science? Strange matter is much heavier than our regular matter. Moreover, our matter is organized and predictable, consisting of atoms made up of nuclei and electrons, with quarks neatly arranged into neutrons and protons. But strange matter? That's a bundle of chaos. Here's where the strange part comes in. Its quarks have no boundaries, running amok wherever and however they want. Yet despite this particle chaos, strange matter remains stable, very dense, and nearly indestructible. But that's where it gets unsettling. Strange matter is so stable that it can exist anywhere in the universe, even outside a neutron star. But the worst part? Strange matter may be contagious. Imagine an innocent jar of honey that suddenly goes berserk and decides to consume everything around it. The table, plates, your kitchen, you, the entire galaxy. What a sticky mess. But that's exactly what could happen if strange matter was left to roam freely. It's like the vampire of particle physics. Anything it touches can be transformed into strange matter itself. Oh yeah, but this stuff is happening way out in space in neutron stars thousands of light years away. Well, here's the thing. When two neutron stars collide, or when a neutron star crashes into a black hole, these strangelets break free. At millions of miles per hour, these tiny, or not so tiny, particles race through space. They can continue traveling for billions of years until they encounter something to consume. Sadly, a strangelet won't care whether the object it encounters is a star or a planet teeming with life. 
this cosmic invader would immediately get to work, converting Earth and everything on it into more strange matter. So, is there a way to stop all this from happening? There is one solution, but it seems almost impossible right now. To get rid of strange matter, we would need to toss it into a black hole. But this plan raises all kinds of questions. Even if we reach a point where humans can travel through space Star Wars style, how would we deposit the dangerous stuff without getting too close to the black hole? Let's picture what would happen as you approach a black hole. First, you'd notice some blackness blotting out the light from surrounding stars. That's just how strong the gravity of a black hole is. Not even light can escape it, hence the name. As soon as you reach the black hole's edge, known as the event horizon, you can't turn back. It's the point of no return. Even if you were super strong or traveling at the speed of light, you still couldn't escape the immense gravitational pull. Plus, you wouldn't even reach the event horizon in the first place. You'd be spaghetti by then. No, seriously, it's called spaghettification, and it happens when something gets stretched paper thin by a black hole's gravitational field. Everything approaching a black hole gets broken down into individual atoms, and we become long, thin pasta. Not the best way to go, I'm afraid. Yeah, it'd be a tough and dangerous feat to transport and throw this strange matter into a black hole. By the way, how would you transport it there anyway? You might use some kind of catapult, but that raises another question. How do you prevent the strange matter from consuming the catapult, your spacecraft, or you? Even in this hypothetical sci-fi space travel scenario, it still seems impossible. In any case, strange matter is just a theory that hasn't been confirmed yet. Interestingly, physicists have considered creating strange matter in a particle accelerator similar to the Large Hadron Collider. Fortunately, they concluded that it's impossible, as particle accelerators get so hot that any strangelets formed would immediately melt. Whew, what a relief. But I'd still like to politely ask them not to try, please. It's comforting to know that even if scientists manage to create strange matter, it would be too unstable to survive long enough to consume nearby atoms. Plus, the strange matter formed from such experiments would likely be positively charged. Such strangelets aren't too dangerous for our world. Sure, they'd be happy to snack on nearby electrons, but they probably won't provoke the terrible chain reaction I just described, probably. In any case, no strangelets have ever invaded Earth in all its billions of years of existence, which means this strange invasion is highly unlikely to happen anytime soon. So, don't sweat it, and don't worry about that jar of honey sitting on the kitchen counter. Do you think it's possible for a stray space strangelet to infect our planet? If you love all things space-related, give this video a like, share it with a friend, and head over to The Space Explained for more videos to satisfy all your cosmic needs.